Hi, and welcome back to Camp Sue. Merry Christmas. Let me do a quick little card reading for Christmas from the fairies to see what messages they have for us. Ah, gloominous. Loom. Doom. Oh, we look so sad. Self-defeated. Self-pity. Self-destruction. What are you doing to yourself? It's okay. Brighter days are coming. I know it seems pretty awful. And we're sad because things aren't the way that we want them to be. All right, what else? All right, sorry you're sad, folks, whoever's sad. Then we get the spirit dancer. Hey, move, have some self-expression, freedom, explore. Lift yourself up, pick yourself up. There's opportunity, you have life, you're holding life right in your hands. Ah, the ra. Oh, this one's a good one. This is wild energy, pure potential. So you have so much potential within you. You're holding it in your hands. You just can't see it because you see all this other distraction around you. Ignore the distraction. Oh, the feline. Oh, the feline, that's getting it right. It's like delayed completion. It's like cleaning up your loose ends and it's got you a little bit down in the dumps. Cheer up. You have that spirit energy of self-expression. Do something artistic. Dance, move. You have that right potential. Look at that action. This kind of looks like that life energy. It's like coming forth, just right there within your grip. And then you have getting it right and the delays. Even though you're rushing towards, you know, the the potential, you just want it now. And it, there's delays, which is kind of disappointing you. But it's going to be okay. And then we'll do one more card. One more card. Any more? Oh, well, that might be the end of that one. We won't do any more. Okay, so we got Unity coming together. Uh, mystical experiences and like your spiritual home. It's like coming back to yourself, coming back home. And that's what's making you sad is you just want to get back home, like within your heart, like own home. And the guardian of the gate. Oh, this is such a beautiful card because this is a passage to a new life. There's like new beginnings openings to like new opportunities like a new life of uh, just being allowed through the door being given passage safe passage oh look at that so this is like coming together you're being allowed in so all this worry it's okay let it go oh because there you go Here's the bodacious bodak. This is the fairy that just wants to meddle, tampering, sabotage. So stay centered within your um, dreams. Keep them to yourself if you possibly can. And be aware of people that try to steal your joy. Killjoys, I hear. Someone's a killjoy. Disregard the killjoy. It's their thing. And then there's the undressing of a salad. So these fairies, the messages that they're giving you is saying that you need to have some balance. Avoid extremes, like maybe a little bit too much partying because it's the holidays. So just try to avoid those extremes because it sends you down a ra bad rabbit hole, a bad path. So that's making you think of um, things that aren't real. When in actuality, um, you're able to achieve the impossible. See these fairies, how they're just balancing all these balls. Having some patience with yourself and knowing that you have that potential right now, that the gates are opening. I mean, that is just such a huge, awesome, awesome, awesome place to be. And for the final card we'll pull is this one. This one felt like it wanted to come. Healing chaos. So all of this chaotic stuff up here, 
the opening. That's the sadness, the doom, the gloom, like the woe is me. Oh my God, how are we ever going to do this? And then sabotaging and just, you know, the energy suckers, the people that just don't want to find happiness within themselves. But you have that spirit. You have it. Look right within the center of this whole spread. And you get like... All you need to do is just get through some little tough times and have impatience and ignore those um, naysayers because the chaos is healing. And that is awesome. Look at all that. Look at the butterflies. Healing within the, the vortex there. So with that, I say namaste and thank you, everybody. And um, have a happy, happy Christmas and a merry, merry New Year. And... I'll talk to you the next time I feel inspired to do a reading. Please like and subscribe, share, and comment. Oh, if you made it this far through and you make a comment, I had this idea. If you leave a comment, I am going to give, I'm going to put the names in a hat, and I'm going to pick it on a video, and that person's going to get a free reading. I've not done this outside of just um, people I do locally here, but I am going to open this up to the world and I'm going to give one of my uh, viewers an opportunity to have a reading by Camp Sue. Namaste and um, chat soon.